Good morning, good morning, good morning, and wake up, wake up, wake up. It's your boy, Vincent E. Gray with Be Invincible. I have your morning motivational snackable on today. I'm telling you, today is going to be a great one. And so you may be wondering, what are motivational snackables? They're words of wisdom to help you win in life. I'm telling you, and today I have the words and I have the wisdom that's going to help you to win. But before we jump into our conversation, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to get your school supplies, go get your pen, open up your notebook, and open up your note apps. I'm going to grace you with some good game. So let's go. Let's class begin. So I'll never forget about four years ago, me and my daughter, we was walking down this little walking path and it was like a falcon that flew over our head. And my daughter, she looked up and she said, daddy, I belong up there. I was like, oh, that's deep. And then I, 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 I began to push her thinking and I said, how are you going to get up there? She said, you taught me that my vision is the machine that's going to help me achieve my dreams. I was like, say that again, girl. She said, you told me, daddy, that my vision is the machine that's going to help me achieve my dreams. And I said, you sound like this lady by the name of Dr. Mae Jemison. She was like, Daddy, who is Dr. Mae Jemison? I said, I thought you would never ask. I said, Dr. Mae Jemison was the first African-American woman to become an astronaut. She was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. I said, but her life wasn't always at the top. You know, as a little girl, she, she didn't say I belong up there. She said, I'm going up there. There's a difference. And so as a young age, she used to always gaze into the stars. Can I tell you why? Because her family, they couldn't even afford a telescope. And so she said, I'm going to be an astronaut. But she didn't let that stop her. She went to school, got good grades. She went to uh, Morgan Park. Shout out to Morgan Park. That was my high school. She went to Morgan Park. And then after that, she ended up going to college. She ended up going to Stanford University in California. Now, Stanford University, that's almost like a private, a private school. And it's expensive. But not only is it expensive, they receive 53,000 applicants every year. Year, but they only accept 2,000. So their acceptance rate is like 3.9%. So what does that mean? That means she was exceptional. She was doing exceptionally well. So she graduated from there. Then she went and got her doctor. She became a doctor. She ended up going to Cornell Medical School and she learned three languages. She learned Russian, she learned Japanese, and she learned Swahili. What am I trying to say? She understood that greatness is not easy because greatness never sleeps. And then all of a sudden, she found out that she can apply to become an astronaut. So she applied to become an astronaut with NASA. She got accepted out of 2,000 candidates. Then they sent her down to Houston for five years to train, and then everything changed. It was September 12th. 1992. What happened on that day? That's when Mae Jemison's childhood dream became a reality. That's when she became an astronaut. She boarded. She boarded the Endeavour Space Shuttle in Florida, the Kennedy Space Center, with six other astronauts. That changed the whole game. That was the day when she became the first African-American woman to become an astronaut. What am I trying to say? Why am I talking, tell, telling you about this lady by the name of Dr. Mae Jemison? It's real simple. I want you to know one thing, that Dr. May Jemison is proof that your dreams are possible. Oh, you're, I'm about to start cooking now. I want you to know that Dr. May Jemison, she is proof that your dreams are possible. Watch this. Her family didn't even have the money to get her a telescope, but she still made it to space. Hmm. She didn't have a telescope, but she still made it to space. And that spirit in Dr. Mae Jemison is also in you. Watch this. I want you to understand that your dreams don't care if you don't have the resources as long as you have the commitment. Ooh, I'm coming on fire. I want you to understand that. Watch this. She didn't, she didn't care if she didn't have the money. She didn't care if she was African-American. She didn't care if she was a woman. She didn't let none of that stop her. She didn't let the fact that she was a woman stop her. She didn't let the fact that she was an African-American stop her. She didn't let the fact that she didn't have the money to stop her. And something that I want you to know is you have to stop waiting for the perfect moment and make the moment perfect. Mm. I'm going to say that again. You have to stop waiting for the perfect moment and you have to make the moment perfect. What am I trying to say this morning? I want you to know that you belong up there. Mm. You belong up there. What is up there? That's you belong at the top of the food chain. You belong at the top. P people at the top eat different from the people at the bottom. You belong up there. But this is the question. What type of person must you become in order for you to get there? I want you to know one simple thing, that you belong 
up there. That's all I have for you today. Thank you, Dr. May Jemison, for your contribution. My name is Vincent E. Gray with Be Invincible. As always, never let what your eyes see determine what your heart believes. Don't enjoy your day. Make sure that your day enjoy you. Be great because the world needs your greatness. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go, let's go, let's go.